Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a feel on this set. So the first thing that I'm doing is going in with my extra coarse drill bit to remove the gel polish from the nails. As always, that is the safety extra coarse drill bit you can find it on amazon and i'll be sure to leave the link down below so when i was doing this um at first she had another picture um that was gonna be her inspiration for the set for the feel um but she ends up changing her mind so um i am gonna go back and actually remove all of the glitter but as you can see here i'm just removing the gel polish and then whenever we get over to the other hand um that's when i um start changing or not changing but taking off the glitter and the only difference is that whenever you're removing the glitter you kind of just put a little bit more pressure um, on the nail when you're doing this that way you kind of get through the clear acrylic and into the glitter but again this is the extra coarse safety drill bit and I'll leave all of that information down below and when I'm using the drill this drill bit I'm using it at between 10 and 15 thousand rpms and remember that just because I use it at that speed don't mean that you have to use it at that speed whatever you feel comfortable using it at is completely fine but again i'm using it in between 10 and 15 thousand rpms to get rid of the gel polish and colored or not colored acrylic but the glitter um, and then again when you're doing this just put a little bit more pressure on the nail but remember that you want to make sure that you keep your drill moving at all times you don't want to leave it in one spot for too long because it's going to cause friction and it's going to cause your client's nail to burn
Alrighty, so up next we are going to push the cuticles back and this is going to expose the new growth and help with reducing lifting. And remember that you can use any cuticle pusher whether it's metal, plastic, or wood as long as it can be disinfected or disposed of. So after this, we're going to go in with the 180 sending band and I'm using it at 5000 RPMs. And remember that when we're using this one, we're literally just removing the shine from the natural nail. We're not, you know, falling the nail down. We're literally just getting rid of that shiny layer. Our body produces a lot of oils. Those oils happen to be on our natural nail, which is why our natural nails are naturally just oily. Um, so we're just getting rid of that shine and excuse my fat boy in the background that's playing with his toy he just found his little squeaky ball and he can't stop playing with it but anyways after we finish removing the shine we applied the primer and then sorry but my camera went dead but now i'm just going in with the jc beauty concepts clear acrylic i'm also using some glitter i'm going to be using the um cover blush and then i'm also going to be using a light pink acrylic um, so for this one, we're going to do an ombre with the glitter. So as you can see, I did the pink uh, at the back, closer to the cuticle area, and then the glitter at the tip. And remember that the key to doing ombre is just making sure that you blend the colors in the middle really well. Um, and of course, you know, with these two colors, they're not going to be able to just blend in the middle. But, you know, you guys know what I mean. Um, so just make sure that you brush really gently so you don't brush the product down towards the tip because of course then it would take away from that ombre look. Of course, make sure that you clean around the cuticle area, area as well. You don't want any product on the skin because then it's gonna cause uh, lifting. And then after we have the glitter and the pink, we're gonna go in, again, that is the JC Beauty Concepts Clear Acrylic, and we're just gonna encapsulate the nail with that. And as always, I'm using my Alpha brush in a number 10, which is the perfect brush for me. Um, I know that there's people out there that use a bigger brush. There's out there, or people out there that use a smaller brush. Whatever you feel more comfortable using is completely fine. You know, especially as a beginner, you're gonna have to try out different brushes to kind of just experiment and see what works for you as far as shape, as far as size, you know, it's just a matter of trial and error. Um, but now for this one, I'm going Going in with that pink and then I'm also using a white acrylic and we're just kind of doing a marble nail on this one I filled in the back of the nail with the clear first because that way whenever she comes in we can just or comes back in for a few we can just fall away this colored acrylic and then we can you know do something different and then also I forgot this but I, I know I called it a feel at the beginning and I know a while back someone said something about that so we're just gonna call this a acrylic redesign because we're switching up the entire look of the nails and not actually just filling the nails in I had honestly had like every ever since I started doing nails, I don't think I ever called it a redesign but it definitely makes sense because when you're doing a feel you literally just fill in the back but with this you're actually redesigning the entire set and you know it's gonna be completely different so thank you for whoever told me that um, but anyways we encapsulated this marble nail and remember that when you're doing acrylic nails your main focus is making sure that you have a nice apex and a good thickness at your tip as well especially when you're doing stiletto nails you want that thickness at the tip because if not it's going to break off super super easily so make sure that as you're applying your acrylic to look at the nail from different angles especially from the side because you're going to be able to see if you still need to add more acrylic at the tip or at the apex area um so make sure that again you focus on that um so now for this now for this now we're gonna go in with the clear and this is just remember our base so next time if she wants to get something different we can just follow away the colored acrylic I know there's a lot of people out there that don't do a clear underneath, which that's completely fine as well. But I know for me, it makes it a lot easier because then next time we don't have to soak the nails off and then do a whole new set. We can just fall away the acrylic just like we did with this set and then change it to something different. But as you can see for this one, I'm using that same light pink and then I'm also using the cover blush. Again, that is by JC Beauty Concepts. I do have a promo code for them which is getting nail 32 and y'all yeah, I'm about to go get onto my dog cause he is getting out of hand. I gotta take this toy away from him. But anyways, after we finish um, doing this ombre, we're gonna of course go in 
and do the clear over the top of it to encapsulate it and then moving on to the next finger. And again, remember that for your ombres, you wanna make sure that you brush the acrylic super, super gently right in the middle because you don't wanna brush that color all the way down towards the tip. You just literally wanna blend it in. So when you're doing this, when you're brushing it down, just kind of feather it down. You wanna be super gentle. Alrighty, so for this index finger, I am gonna go in with that same blush, uh, cover blush by JC Beauty Concepts. And we're just gonna do this on the entire nail. You guys know that I've been obsessed with this color. I've been using it a lot. I just got a new container of it, so I'm really, really excited. Um, it just goes so well with everything, whether you're just doing it by itself or if you're doing an ombre with it, whatever you're doing, like it just looks so good. So again, that is Cover Blush by JC Beauty Concepts. And um, so again, we're just gonna do this on the entire nail. And then I still um, usually go in with a little bit of clear over it. Um, but with this one, you don't have to. You can just use it um, by itself without encapsulating. But whatever makes you feel more comfortable sometimes. Um, especially when I'm low of like my cover colors. I try not to use so much of it so I can save it. So I just do enough to where it's a good coverage of it. And then I go in and build my thickness with the clear. Alrighty, and then for the thumb, we're gonna go in and just do the pink and nude um, ombre like we did on the middle finger. So same thing, just doing the pink at the tip and then the nude at the back, making sure that we blend the colors in the middle really, really nicely. So make sure that you're really, really gentle when you're doing that, that way you don't take away from the ombre effect. And also remember that when you're working, especially with cutter, colored acrylics, that you wipe your brush off a lot as you're working. I use the Viva paper towels. You can find these at Walmart, Target, Dollar General, Family Dollar, um, wherever they, whatever grocery store you go to, they usually have them.
Alrighty, and then for the other hand, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. So just doing the clear underneath, and then we're gonna do the ombre with the pink and then a nude at the back. And then the other fingers are gonna be exactly the same as the other hand as well.
Alrighty, so now that we applied the acrylic, we're gonna go in with the 100-100 nail file and we're gonna start shaping up our nails. So as you can see, I'm just going in at a 90 degree angle on both sides towards the free edge and then just rounding off the tip however your client wants it, whether they want, they want it more pointed or rounded, um, you know, it's completely fine. Just round it off a little bit more at the tip if you need to, or just make it as pointed as you want, but 90 degree angle on the sides, going from the um, sidewalk towards the free edge. We're gonna do that on all of the nails. And then after that, we're gonna move on to falling with the e-file. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go in with the e-file. I'm using my fine ceramic drill bed and we're just gonna file all of the nails. As always, I first focus around the cuticle area, going from the right side all the way over to the left side, just going back and forth, back and forth, until you're able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. That way you know that the acrylic is not on the skin. And we're gonna do that on all of the nails. And then of course, making sure that we file the rest of the nails to make sure that they're all nice and smooth. And if you are a beginner, you are gonna have to spend a little bit more time on each nail just because I know for a fact that as a beginner you know your nails are still a little bit bumpy 
and lumpy so just file as needed but look at the nail from the sides um, to make sure you file wherever it's needed that way you don't file away your apex or your thickness at the tip um, also remember just like any other time when you're using your drill you want to make sure that you keep your drill moving at all times you don't want to leave it in one spot for too long because it will cause friction and it's going to cause your clients nail to burn i don't know if you've ever had that happen to you but it is not a good feeling so make sure that you are really careful and then remember as i always state if you are a beginner make sure that you you know work with your drill at a speed that you feel comfortable using it and then the more you use it the more comfortable you're gonna get and you're gonna be able to speed it up as you go so um, just mess with the speeds you know if it feels like it's going too slow speed it up a little bit and you know just go from there Alrighty, so after we finish filing the nails with the e file, we're going in with the buffer, and this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e file. So make sure that you buff really, really good because you don't want to see any of those scratches through your top coat. And then after this, we're going to just dust the nails off, wipe them off with an alcohol wipe, or you can have your client go wash your hands, whatever works for you best. Alrighty, so now the only thing I'm going to do to this set is I'm going in with this holographic silver polish by Color Club and the color harp on it. And you can find this one on Amazon. This is the one that I always use as a base for my bling. And it just matches the bling so, you know, if something was to fall off, it won't be too noticeable. So we're going to do that on that finger and then this middle finger. And then I'm going to go in with the Soule Nail Adhesive, which is the glue that I use. I'm going to go in with my wax pencil, my ABS 6 and SS12 bling as always just apply the glue and then just start applying your uh, bling and I always alternate between the different sizes as you can see I do one big one small one big one small I always start right in the middle and then I work my way around the perimeter of the nail and just fill in the rest of the nail as I go and then of course if you need to add more glue that is completely fine but again I use this Soleil nail adhesive and you can find her page on Instagram just type in Soleil
Alrighty, so now we're just going to go in and apply the Madame Glam Gel Top Coat on all of the nails. And then we're going to cure this for um, 60 seconds and then we're going to do the same thing on the other hand. Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really pretty. Those colors look so good together and I just love her shape. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GetNail32 and I will see you guys next time.